It is the first time in years that UDOT is seriously considering a solution that could affect every driver in the Beehive State. Fox 13's Aaron Cox first brought attention to this issue on the roads back in 2019. In a story you will only see here, Aaron has an update from researchers who believe what they've invented will fix the problem. It's no secret that when the sun goes down, it's hard to see. It becomes invisible. Two years ago, Nick Bodkin created a petition that now has more than 30,000 signatures. I know it's an issue. I'm, I drive down those roads and I, I can't see the lanes and I'm just guessing. While working on his master's degree at the University of Utah, Jason Nance looked into fixing the paint UDOT uses. I brainstormed with my wife and she suggested, why not? glow in the dark. Nance worked alongside his professor Taylor Sparks who says the Netherlands tried a glow in the dark paint. It is very very short lived. Their goal make a long lasting weather resistant glow in the dark paint. We're at the point where we're finally ready to put it on the road. Half the strip was just glow in the dark paint. The other half included paint with reflective glass beads. We want to get this coat into the grooves and everything. The pavement we're standing on, asphalt, these are all types of ceramics. You might think that nothing would impact it, but in fact, water can. The paint Sparks and Nance are testing is supposed to block out that water, but not block out the light. And what better place to test the paint out than at the Diesel Brothers shop? The star of that show, Dave Sparks, is my little brother, actually. While the paint dried, we stepped over to the Utah Department of Transportation. There are a few things UDOT uses, like reflective tape. We have experimented with other things like physical markers implanted in the roadway. With the amount of plowing we do in the state of Utah, they, they can be problematic. UDOT also uses a paint with glass beads on top to reflect headlights, but some don't work as well when they get wet. That's why you can't see the marking at night, is it just dissipates the, it sends the light light somewhere else. Robert Miles, who's been with UDOT for 20 years, says they are looking into ceramic beads, which reflect better when wet. I think it's deceiving how simple the, the problem appears to be. If you think about the size of a plow scraping material off a road, the ice and the snow, it's, it's taking with it or it's impacting the paint markings as it goes through. So there's a lot of stuff that happens on a roadway and it's not, it's not just as simple as a different brand of paint. Miles says they're aware of the new Glow Paint project but have some concerns. We're hopeful that the team is able to overcome the technological hurdles. There's only one way to find out. Right now we're doing a test for the durability of this paint. You can see how brightly the paint glowed earlier in the evening. All right, go ahead. But as the light dimmed, the line did not shine as bright. The paint did pass the durability test. I don't see any cracking or peeling up. There is absolutely no uh, sign of destruction in that path. I feel like we're just turning the corner. There's still some more testing. Uh, honestly, there's so many things that have to align for this to be used. As of now, UDOT is planning to do more tests on May 24th, and that's when Nance and others can bring their projects and present them to UDOT to see which one can become the next big thing for Utah's roads. In Salt Lake City, Aaron Cox, Fox 13 News, Utah.